Hey guys, Dopamine and Balance here, and welcome to the fifth episode of the Great Call of Nocturne. Today we're finally going to continue where we left off, where I uh, stopped at that temple. We're going to go ahead and go in, and I believe this is the part. Uh, I came back a day after to play some more, but um, uh, we're going in this temple to recover the amulet that's going to get us past the uh, ancestral cheetahs. I'm going to go ahead and sneak, because I'm sure there's going to be some enemies ahead. It's very dim in here. And I can definitely hear those skeletons. So I'm probably going to arch myself up against the wall here. But before I do that... Um... Kind of paused for a second. And I'm just gonna get another spell. Probably hit my spell. There. But uh, yeah. Like I said before in previous episodes. This mod has some great custom uh, textures and meshes. Mod author did fantastic with this mod, story-wise, and uh, just the uh, artistic infidelity of it. One thing I've noticed with this mod, yeah, like my sneak skill for this character. There we go. The sneak skill for this character isn't that high, and I think they purposely made it easy. I don't know why, because it's already easy enough, but um, yeah, I definitely noticed when I was um, trying to get past those Centurions that they barely even noticed me, and there was one time where like, I was pretty positive they got a glimpse of me when I ran out, or uh, rolled out, however you want to put it, I kind of rolled out, but um, let's see what's in here. I wish it wouldn't take so long to open those containers, that's odd. Anyway. I'm not going to be opening every single one of these. Of course, I'll probably open every single one of these and eat my own words, but uh, I plan not to. I'm not going to open every single one of these containers, but I'm still going to get a little bit. I'm not just going to skip every single one of them. Because I want to earn some coin along the way. I'm not trying to be a Jew, I just... Oh. <laughs> if you notice any... Uh, strange animations, it's because I have an animation pack for this character. Uh, idle animations and stuff like that. I believe the mod is FNIS. And I think the... I'm not very sure, it's been a while since I've installed these things, but um... Idle animations... Oh, Got an arrow. Idle animations comes with, uh... I think a secondary mod or so. I might be very wrong, but uh, I have another mod. That's all I know in it, uh... It comes with uh, new swinging animations and attacks and stuff like that. Yeah, like nice power attack. And, uh, like my sword looks cool while I'm standing in one position and stuff. Also, my spells are different in third person, as you'll probably come to see. And it really fits this character, too, I, um, I think, since it's a female and it's more feminine, I guess. I mean, you could use it for metals and it'd look pretty cool, but it's more of a mage look. Like, it really hits the the mage feel, I guess. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and heal my partner here. Oh yeah, and it's gonna sell. It's gonna say, uh, excuse me, Mel Dummy Zero or whatever. Um, I'm currently playing on Skyrim, not uh, F not F and I S. Not that. I'm not currently playing with a SKSE, Sky Skyrim Script Extender, because of the fact that um, I just can't record on that for some reason. Because it's one of those things where it opens up, and uh, you can't just hit record and all that. It, it, it's You'd have to see to understand it, but like, with regular Skyrim, my mods are still installed and all that, but there's some things that are messed up because I'm not using the uh, Skyrim Script Extender. And that's just one of them. Uh, that's actually... One of my followers, 
or one of my characters, I should say. And uh, I have the uh, Familiar Faces mod, which allows me to uh, get one of my other saves as a character follower. And uh, he's just called Mel Dummy for some reason. It's probably, uh, like he's there, but his name and stuff and a lot of other things are messed up. And I have countless other mods that are not working at the moment. But they're not to a point to where it's going to be crucial and it's going to affect gameplay or anything like that. But he's still here, so it'll be nice. He'll help me take out a lot of these enemies. Yeah, I got my torch out. Because, uh, like I said before, I've played this mod, but, um, there's some very dark places. And, uh, I'd rather use a torch than I would Mage Light, because Mage Light is just, like, so much of a blue hue that it kind of looks annoying. At least to me. I mean, it, it looks nice in some places, especially the outdoors, but in here it's just, like, illuminating a really bright blue light, and it's just more natural and better to use a torch, I suppose. But, um, yeah, I'll be using a torch. I'll try not to unequip it, but I can't make any promises. Because I don't know, you know, the enemies I'll face in here are probably going to be pretty random. Mostly skeletons, which is different from the last time I played it, because the last time I played it, I remember there being a lot more mummies. But maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Oh, here's a mummy. Uh, right face first in the floor. I'll check this one to see if he has anything or she has anything. Trying to dodge that. Huh, I can block with the torch. I don't it doesn't do anything. But uh be cool if it set them on fire. Be pretty effective with them since they are just mummies. I keep coming to those things thinking I can open them, like the chests. Like there's some other things that look just like that, but they're smaller. But I'll come up to eventually, and uh, they'll be openable. But um, yeah, I keep looking at them. I'm like, hey, I want to open it up, but I can't. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'll check some of the. That was empty. Didn't want to be in that. Try to get all of it. There we go. There we go. That's the one I wanted to get. Let's see if there's anything in there. A little gold, still something. Nope, just a garnet. Just a garnet. Oh yeah. My sneak skill. I haven't really invest like haven't paid too much attention to this character since I've just uh this character is like fairly new, only level 61, and uh, I forgot that I can't trigger pressure plates, which is pretty convenient. I know what the other Skyrim character I had, it was like 120 or 119 level, 119. I never even remembered that you could trigger them. Because my sneak skill was all was maxed out. Well, I got back in now. And of course my follower has simply disappeared. It would be really useful if he had come down and helped me though. But he probably got stuck on one of the traps. Unfortunately his sneak skill is not that high. It's ironic since that is me as the other character that's following me, getting stuck, crushed by one of these traps. <laughs> I'm going to try to survive, I can't make any promises. There we go, I think that's it. I think I still hear something though. Yep. 
I don't know how I didn't like see that. I did put away my torch though. Probably use a healing spell real quick. But what was I saying? Uh, I'm looking for grand healing. There we go. I think this one have, I'll have to cast it once and we'll, there we go. Yep. Anything over here? No. Probably not over there either, so I'll probably just head out. Now pulling that chain probably got another one of those gates open. Get my torch back out. Yeah, but so far I'm really loving this mod. There are uh, a couple side quests that you can do, but I'll probably get to those at another time. I want to do all the main stuff first. So I can finally finish this series and move on. And there's my follower. Like I said, crushed by uh, one of the traps. The falling wall. Oh, there it goes again. The falling walls. I don't know what they're called. Head back down. <clears throat> Here we go. Just head down here. I don't know exactly where this is going to take me though. Either the skeletons or my follower keeps uh, targeting, uh, target, triggering those. And like I said, they won't trigger for me because of the fact that I have uh, that one perk invested in my sneak tree trigger the pressure plates, but you already know about that. And I don't think my follower is going to be coming anytime soon. So, just head down here. There we go. Should have probably got a flame spell. Kind of in a bind right now. Just there we go. Haha. Get fucking wrecked. All right. Um. I'm only joking, guys. Um. Y'all check their bodies. They won't have much, but Ooh, that one had arrows. Nice. See if this one has anything unique. Seeker arrows. That's cool. Um, that might be uh, my uh, immersive weapons pack. Or it might just be this mod. I'm not entirely sure. I know this mod does come with some custom stuff. But I don't think that's from this mod. I think that's from immersive weapons. Either way, pretty cool. I'll definitely collect it. Get some healing here. We got a fire over there. There we go. A chest. These were the chests I was talking about. They look just like the chest below it. So, uh, flawless diamond. Nice. Got a lot of uh, gems in here. Check these urns. And I won't check everything, like I said. I'll just check a couple things and I'll be on my way to make this uh, playthrough or this part as quick as I possibly can. <clears throat> Excuse me.
Oh, by the way, the uh, armor mod I'm wearing right now is called the Scarlet Dawn Armor. And, uh, like always, it, I get my mods from the Nexus, and uh, on this one on the Nexus. So, it's a little... It's a little skimpy. <laughs> uh, but it's definitely not too bad. It's not like most of the female armor mods. It's pretty nice and unique. And the weapon I have... Which, you, if you watched previous episodes, I got this from the second or first episode, I believe, and it's uh, Umbra. But, um, so I wrote down the things that I came across in the tomb, and I'm, uh, fairly certain that this is the right thing. I think they're just gonna be the top, uh, icons, symbols, whatever. I'll pull the chain lever. There we go. Got it right. Wait, am I bleeding? There's blood right here. But I'll... That's odd. <laughs> that just caught my mind really quick, but I'm... I'm fine. It's just weird. I guess I... I don't know why I have... Maybe that is the... Um, Enhanced Blood Textures mod. Maybe it does come with something like that. I don't remember taking bleeding damage. That's not even a thing in this game, but uh, whatever. So now we go to the depths of Al Shadim. My follower should be here anytime soon. Since I went to another cell in the game, there he is. There's no sense in me, in me sneaking, but I'm still gonna do it just because. Um, <clears throat> get up here real quick. And jump over there, and then jump over there. I definitely feel the boss battle coming up. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm trying to clear my throat. I'm not sick or anything, it's just something's in my throat. As perverted as that may sound. And, uh, you know, we got a tomb over here. <clears throat> well, a resting place. It's a big guy. Shit! Scared the fuck out of me. It wasn't bad enough that he popped out of that damn thing like he did. My followers finally using the swords I want them to. Oh, there goes his shield. <laughs> now if my follower could get out of his own flame spell there, that'd be cool. Come on, you idiot. There we go. Oh crap, we better get out of here before the whole place sets on fire. <laughs> yeah, I'm um, trying to recall the mod that I have that uh, makes it to where ice and fire spreads. I think it's just called ice and fire, but um, yeah. The more damage you take to the ground and the areas and trees and stuff like that, the, you can set shit on fire. I'll throw him in the fire. He's a big guy. Why did I check him? I already took what was in his inventory because the shield was part of his inventory. I took a shield. Just to make. I wanted to finish her off that guy, but my follower got him before I did. Like I said, my follower is uh, my first character I used on Skyrim, so he's uh, 119. Or 120, I believe, actually. Level 120. And I'm only a 61. If he wasn't a dumbass, he'd actually be pretty OP, but, uh... Yeah. Get a little bit of gold. This is the end of the area, I believe, so I'm just gonna go ahead and collect what I can.
And there is the key. More soul. Okay. So I didn't get the amulet that uh, gets the uh, ancestral cheetahs to be nice. Friendly. Whatever. Uh, I thought that's what I came here for, but I guess not. That is not what we got. We got the key to more soul. But maybe... Okay, maybe I have this all twisted up. Maybe I need to go to Mora Soul to get the amulet. Okay, that'd make more sense. That would make more sense. Well, time to get out of here then. That is not the spell I want. That's Vision of the Tenth Eye. Which will just affect my eyes. I don't quite want to do that. What I want to get out is Mage Light. Because I wanted to show you guys what I meant. Plus, I mean, whatever. I'll use it. The thing with torches is, is I can use a torch and it'll run out of... Um, stuff that makes it light so then it unequips and then I can't get it again I know I can get travel lanterns but I don't really care to do that so you got to do all the hotkey stuff and it's just more easy to do something with magic and you thought he was gonna hit me My followers in trouble A little close range for that. <laughs> yeah, there's... I was just here, but now there's enemies all over the place again. This didn't happen the last time. I'll see you in pieces. <sighs> I have a magic crap. Um... <laughs> my follower's got an arrow in his head. Fucking hell. There we go. Wait, wait. There we go. Let me just get you. Nice. I think that settles it. Oh, we got one more. Gotta sneak up, huh? Not today. Got him. I'm gonna wait an hour. There we go, now we're back at normal lighting. It was, like I said, it kind of annoys me. It looks great when you're outdoors, but uh... In here it doesn't. And that's it, so we're gonna go ahead and head out. Oh, there we go. We got past the candles and it got a little dark. Well guys, that will be it. Uh, hope you enjoyed. I'll go ahead and post the episode as soon as I possibly can. I, uh, I'm on spring break right now, so I'll definitely have a lot more time. Uh, probably, but I uh, hope you enjoyed next episode coming soon going to continue the series we're almost done and i hope to see you guys next time